All right. Good morning. It is what time is it? I'm just going to see the screen. 8:41 a.m. on Saturday, February 19th, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis. I just got up. This is five more minutes. I'm outside on the on the balcony uh, today, second floor. But uh, just once again to prove it. As though you couldn't hear the ocean sounds in the background. You know, it's funny about the ocean sounds. I've just been thinking about that a little bit this this uh, uh, during this trip, and, and how like I, along with many other people, find the o sounds of the ocean surf very soothing. And watching it can be kind of hypnotic, similar to uh, like staring into fire, for example. Something that seems to be, you know, if not universal, then at least extremely common. I, I sat where the sun wouldn't be right in my eyes, but it's already moved a little bit since I sat down. <laughs> um, very common to find those things kind of hypnotic, and I, and it seems like it's kind of uh, almost deeply like primal thing. It's some very uh, animal part of our brain, but you know I've also sometimes reflected that a lot of complex behavior that we experience. Can some might be tied to the tension between simultaneous desires for security and predictability and understanding with our contemporaneous desire for novelty and the new and excitement and exhilaration. And those things to a large extent are not compatible and yet we want both and we want them all the time and you know each one might be higher or lower at any given moment but the two of those pulling on each other I think can cause a lot of the uh, complexity in our behavior sorry I might get something in my eye here but uh, and and I think to tie it back to the ocean surface I think just the specific, like when you're watching the ocean waves, you know approximately what's going to happen, you know, another wave, another wave, another wave, but no wave is quite 100% identical. They come at a slightly irregular pattern. Each wave is, you know, this one's a little bigger, that one's a little smaller, um, and that sort of thing, and I wonder if that precise combination is just tuned to try to like find the happy point between the novelty and the predictability but then again I think sometimes uh, people also can find just like white noise soothing in the same way and white noise is literally like it's it's just <laughs> at a constant level so I don't know I don't know how long have I go gone Okay, got a little ways, yeah. Yesterday was was okay. Um, I, I woke up in the morning to discover that I had left my shoes on the balcony overnight when it had rained, so they were soaked. And uh, they've been slowly drying since. I think it'll be okay by the time I need to leave, but that was not optimal. And then I felt a little bit migrainey most of the day. But not not too bad. I don't want to overstate it. But you know, there was some there was uh, some good stuff too. Like it was a really beautiful like beautiful misty overcast uh, most of the day. And after lunch, we uh, some of us went out and did a walk along the beach in the mist. And it was really kind of cool and otherworldly, just because it really sort of felt almost like the rest of the world recedes into the mist and you're only in your just one little bubble that you can see and it was kind of incredible honestly and some good conversations being had I got a little writing done not so much I was uh, I was I spent a lot more time yesterday having to make adjustments to stuff that's already written for the new stuff but I'm hoping that for today I can get through that part of the current draft and get to where I'm literally writing brand new stuff, and that would be that would be nice because that's that's honestly that's the most fun part for me. You can, you can see I, I keep <laughs> coming back into the sun where it's very bright. The sun is glaring off of the uh, the ocean in in that direction. Um, 
but yeah, I'm feeling a little better today in terms of the migraine stuff. So I'm hoping, hoping that I can uh, keep that going. And it helps probably that um, I didn't stay up so late again last night. Um, and so I'm awake a little bit earlier by contrast, you know, like, cause the first two nights I let myself sleep as much as I felt like I needed to, but it was certainly an altered sleep rhythm from my normal. Whereas today it was still a little bit altered, but not so much. And, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping today's the last full day of the trip. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a good one. And I've definitely got an eyelash in my eye, but you know what? That'll be okay too and get some writing done. I hope all of you have a good Saturday, and I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.